low this week is the hottest so far this yeah. year, and that usually means Texas Power Grid starts to sweat a little bit as well. But so far this summer, no warnings of conservation requests, no panic or anything like that. So that's different, a little bit more different this time around. That's right. Our Gage Golding is finding out why the grid is holding strong and how the sun may be the hero. Remember when the Texas power grid would nearly fail when temps across Texas hit triple digits? Being out of power for weeks on weeks, it's just like PTSD, like is that going to happen over again? Yeah, that's not happening this time around. Even with temps soaring up to 100 degrees, we haven't seen that ERCOT warning yet. So what changed? When the summer sun is scorching Texas, Houstonians know that the power grid could give out. And we have lost power a couple times. This year, maybe not. Here's the short answer. There's more power on the grid, but how? Let's start with just how much power we're using. On Wednesday, Texans used nearly 82,000 megawatts of power across Texas. That's the highest so far this year, and roughly 4,000 megawatts short of the all-time record. In years past, ERCOT, who operates Texas's power grid, would have been scrambling. They'd be sending messages like, please conserve power, rolling blackouts are possible. But this year, nothing. No warning, no conservation requests, and no blackouts. If we did shatter those records, let's say we approached 86, 87 gigawatts, we've currently got enough generation across the state. Matt Bombs leads a utility trade group in Texas. Since the winter storm in 2021 that left millions without power, Texas has been adding a ton of power to the grid. And nearly all of that, 90%, comes from three sources, wind, solar, and batteries. Those have been the key drivers behind our state staying reliable during these summer heat waves. Speaking of increasing demand, is it enough for the future? Texas is growing fast and so is the need for power. ERCOT predicts we'll need upwards of 150,000 megawatts of power daily by 2030. That's nearly double today's highest demand ever. So what's the plan to power all of that? It turns out it's already here, the sun. Eight out of every 10 power projects trying to plug into ERCOT or solar or battery systems. It's the cheapest and quickest form of energy to build right now. And without it, we would have had either electricity scarcity or increased energy prices. What that means for Texans like you, me, and Adelina. That makes me feel a little bit more confident. And I guess it's a good thing too that it's coming from the sun. I like that. It makes me feel good. Reporting in Houston, Gates Golding, KPRC2 News.